I'm pleased to be joined today on HealthBeat by Dr. Enos Al-Sagal, an endocrinologist with Faith Regional Physician Services Endocrinology in Norfolk. And we're talking about Hashimoto's thyroiditis, also known as lymphocytic thyroiditis. So Dr. Enos, describe for us this condition and its symptoms. So Hashimoto's thyroiditis or lymphocytic thyroiditis, it's basically an inflammation of the thyroid gland. Mm -hmm. And it's an autoimmune like process. Basically, patients would have like TPO antibodies, which is an antibodies against their own thyroid, and which prevent or decrease the production of thyroid hormones. Mm -hmm. And so patients would have what we call hypothyroidism symptoms, which could be anything like from being having dry skin, having like you know more sleep, constipation, weight gain anything like, you know, like slowing them down, feeling lethargic and low energy. Even like for women, they will have heavy period or basically a regular period. And they might have actually what we call goiter, which is an enlarge of their thyroid gland as well. But doesn't mean that every patient has TPO antibodies positive that they should have hypothyroidism. They might actually have hypothyroidism later in course of their like life. And people with family history of Hashimoto's thyroiditis or lymphocytic thyroiditis usually tend to have a blood work earlier than others to detect hypothyroidism because they know they have family history of that process. I see. So then how would that be treated? Treatment of Hashimoto's same as hypothyroidism. Basically, they will need a replacement of thyroid hormone. Mm -hmm. And so they have to take what we call levothyroxine and the other name will be Synthroid. This medication has to be taken like in particular way, on empty stomach usually in the morning with water only, and you have to wait for 30 to 60 minutes before you eat or drink. And if you wanna take it with other medication, you wanna be sure that you take it apart from your calcium, your iron, or any other you know, acid reflux medication such as Tums, Pantoprazole, Omeprazole. It has to be around four hours before taking levothyroxine and those medication. Or you can take it after your last meal, four hours from your last meal, basically. I see. Well, thank you for being here today and sharing that information with our viewers. Thank you. you and that's HealthBeat, brought to you by Faith Regional Physician Services.